I hope that you can see me all right. Uh, my cup room has turned into a guest room while my sister-in-law was visiting uh, and my mother-in-law is going to be visiting soon uh, for my youngest child's graduation. Um, so I'm just gonna film with my camera and a floor lamp and hope for the best. So today I'm going to be talking about the Mina cup. Uh, it was a cup that was specially designed for teens and new users. It is one of the smaller cups on the market. They do offer two different sizes, a mini and a regular. I only have the mini so I can only give you information about that. I'm going to do an unboxing, show you what you get, and then do a walkthrough of the cup itself. If you're interested in hearing more about this cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. A little information about the Mina Foundation first. They are based in South Africa, and I was saying they did design this cup for teens and new users. They have a give one, get one policy where your give one goes to underprivileged so that they can continue their education. They travel around to schools in South Africa providing cups, information, and mentorship. According to the Mina website, this cup is made out of medical grade silicone and is only available in that white or clear color. Let's go down to the table and take a look at the packaging. That is after I set up a table. So this is a pretty tiny cup. It may work well for someone that has a medium to low cervix or someone with a light flow. Again, this is the mini size Mina cup. I do not have the regular size on hand. The total length of the mini Mina cup is 57 millimeters. Without the stem, it measures 42 millimeters. The diameter is 38 millimeters. And the total capacity of this cup to the top of the rim is 17 milliliters. Starting with the stem, it is a solid piece of silicone and it's a tab style. Uh, if I turn it to the side, you can see that it flattens a nice flat area for you to pinch down on when you're retrieving this cup. Instead of using grip rings on the stem, they branded their name. It is raised and that gives you that nice grippiness that you need. This stem doesn't really have any stretchiness to it. I can't really pull it more than just about here. There isn't really an extra seal between the stem and the base of the cup. If you need to trim the stem on this cup, I would suggest staying at this line right here. Right underneath the stem, there are two grip rings and they are rounded. I really like that they set it up further on the body than right at the base or where the stem meets because when you go to retrieve a cup, you're pinching a little bit higher and not like right here. So I think they positioned those really nicely. The Mina cup does have a secondary rim and the transition between the body and that secondary rim uh, is actually lower than the grip rings. That secondary rim gives the top of the cup some extra firmness to help get this cup to open. There may have been a seam that ran the length of the body up and around the stem and back down the other side. Uh, I see a very, very faint line, but I'm not sure if that was a seam or not. So um, if, if it was a seam, they cleaned it up really, really nicely. There's also a seam that travels around the outside of the rim, and this one isn't as clean as the one on the body of the cup, if that was a seam on the body of the cup. Uh, I wish that they cleaned that up 
a little bit better, but uh, I am able to place my finger on here and rock the silicone back and forth. Um, so at least it's soft enough that hopefully it won't give anybody any problems with uh, rubbing or chafing. There are two large air holes on this cup. You can see one right there and one right back here. And here is uh, a pencil so that you can kind of gauge how large that is. Other than the Mina name on both sides of the stem, there's no other markings inside or outside of this cup. I'll go ahead and post some pictures of the mini Mina cup against some of the other small cups on the market. I personally have not tried this cup yet. It is a short and small cup, and I still have a little bit of anxieties of if my cervix is on the high side, that I'm not gonna be able to reach it on my own as easily. If you are interested in the Mina Cup, you will have to contact them yourself on their website. I don't know any hub sites like Feminine Wear or Menstrual Cups uh, that carry this cup at this time. I'm also not sure if they ship to the United States. I'll go ahead and leave any kind of information that I have for them in the description box below. Anyhow, that's all I have about the Mina Cup for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you think that the Mina Cup would have been a great starter cup for you. Until I see you next time, take care.